Welcome back ladies and gents to another video. Today we're going to cover the Rifleman, the standard class in Hell Let Loose. If you're new to the game, this is the go-to role for you as it comes with little responsibility other than what your squad leader assigns you. This allows you to focus on the gameplay and get into grips with the core game mechanics. Like the other videos within this series, we will take a look at the various weapon systems available to you within the Rifleman class. We'll look at their effectiveness in theatre and also in gameplay. We'll also look at the Rifleman's ability to support your team to victory and I will offer my top tips on how you can rapidly upskill your Rifleman gameplay to become an integral member of a winning team so that you can then become more confident to take on more important roles. I'm looking to add more how-to videos in the coming days and weeks, which will include classes, weapons and gameplay. So if you like what you see, please feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment what you'd like to see next and also consider subscribing. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy. So let's first look at the weapons. On the American side, the M1 Garand. The M1 Garand was the standard US service rifle during World War II and the Korean War. This semi-automatic rifle saw service up to the Vietnam War owing to its decent performance. The weapon had an effective range of 457 meters and a good rate of fire of up to 50 rounds per minute, outperforming the Car 98 and other bolt action rifles. This enabled infantry squads or sections to win firefights using basic fire and maneuver tactics owing to the sheer rate of fire the American forces could put down. In Hell Let Loose, this gun is often thought to be the best in game. The 8 round clip and 7.62 cartridge packs good stopping power enabling you to kill up to 250 meters with one round. Due to its good rate of fire and 8 round magazine, this weapon can be used at close quarters. Got them. Next up, the M1 Carbine. The M1 Carbine is another semi-automatic weapon available to you once you have reached rank 3 Rifleman. This weapon entered service in 1942 and saw service up to 1973. It was issued to support troops whereby the M1 Garand was considered too heavy for daily duties. The lightweight also appealed to some airborne forces, which adopted the weapon to great effect. The M1 Carbine had an effective range of 270 meters and had a rate of fire of up to 70 rounds a minute. The M1 Carbine fired a smaller cartridge to the M1 Garand, a .30 Carbine round. This meant a smaller stopping power and therefore more rounds needed to incapacitate a target. To counter this, the M1 Carbine packs 15 rounds per magazine. In Hell Let Loose, you can expect an effective range of around 50 to 100 meters. However, it will take several hits to drop an enemy over 50 meters. Now let's look at the German side. First, the Car 98, Germany's standard rifle, coming into service in 1935. Owing to its excellent effective range of 500 meters, with iron sights and over 1,000 meters with the aid of a telescopic sight. The Car 98 fires a 7.92 millimeter Mauser cartridge. It packs a five round stripper clip and a rate of fire of about 20 rounds per minute. Most German forces were issued with the Car 98 during the Second World War. On the Western Front specifically, this performed particularly well in the earlier war years. Over 14.6 million were made during the conflict. In Hell Let Loose, this bolt action weapon puts you at a disadvantage when coming up against American riflemen. Therefore, it is best to deploy at distance <laughs> to the enemy. Firing squad. You can expect to hit and down targets up to 250 meters away, based on the favorable design of the iron sights. And lastly, the Gewehr 43. There is nothing worse than getting into a gunfight with an enemy that is able to put more lead downrange accurately. The Germans face this conundrum when tackling the US and Russian forces and therefore set upon a quest to design a semi-automatic weapon which could help even the odds. 
the Gewehr 43 was introduced in 1943 and an estimated 50,000 were produced up to 1945. This gas operated weapon system had an effective firing range of 500 meters and was loaded with a 10 times 7.92 Mauser magazine. This increased rate of fire matched the M1 Garand at about 50 rounds per minute. In Hell Let Loose, this weapon is best utilized at close to mid range. It is excellent for assaulting or holding compounds and has an effective range for about 150 meters. In most engagements, you can expect to drop enemies with a well-placed shot. Okay, let's have a look at Standard Rifleman. The Standard Rifleman, available to you when you first start the game, can carry excess ammunition, which you can drop for your team to replenish various weapon systems. This can be used six times and has a cooldown period of about five minutes before you can drop further ammunition. Points to note, this will only replenish primary weapons, aka not explosives. That ability is reserved for level 6 German riflemen. Due to the relatively quick time to kill, you tend to not run out of ammunition often. Therefore, this feature isn't often needed. However, it can greatly support MGs and other automatic weapon classes when defending points. Pro tip, drop an ammunition box just before assaulting a position. This is to ensure your team is fully kitted to take on the point. Similarly, drop an ammunition box close to a defensive position, particularly near MGs and other automatic weapons, as these classes shoot through their munitions quickly in the heat of battle. Where possible, place the box in cover in easy reach of your team to prevent putting them at risk if seeking to replenish. As mentioned earlier, an experienced German rifleman is able to replace his ammunition box with an explosive box instead. This enables his team to replenish grenades and anti-tank can replenish their rockets. As the German AT can only take two rockets, this feature is far more welcomed and your team will be thankful. Sexy man, thank you. Aside from placing ammunition, you have very little responsibility. You can expect to be tasked with taking points when approaching unknown territory, defending flanks, and providing a steady rate of fire onto an enemy position as your team advances and assaults. It is advised therefore to try to stick close to your machine gun, so to provide additional ammunition and flank protection. The rifleman's accuracy enables for effective engagements up to about 250 to 300 meters. In a game that is rapidly becoming more automatic weapon focused, this class gives you the edge with the ability to pick off targets at greater range with far greater accuracy than some of your peers. In defense, this is fantastic. Just ensure you're in solid cover, have good line of sight, and remember to control your rate of fire. In assault, the rifleman loses the edge, especially when equipped only with a bolt rifle. The reduced rate of fire places the rifleman second to an experienced enemy equipped with an automatic weapon so ensure you have a full magazine when closing with the enemy. You will realize that these weapon systems come with small magazine capacities. Therefore, it is critical that you make each shot count. If you have closed with an enemy rifleman, all too often you will notice that the hot-headed will spaff their load in the first few seconds, needing to reload or swap to their melee weapon. Fire one or two shots at the hip. Crouch and move a meter sideways before raising your weapon and taking a controlled shot. Often you'll notice those that win the firefight are those that return fire, then take that controlled shot. Bear this in mind the next time. If you're closed with the enemy and have a dry magazine, you have the option to use your melee weapon. This is most effective when assaulting from the flank or the rear, or indeed when stealth is required. It is advised as a rifleman in the assault to take position at middle distance to the enemy with good arcs of fire onto the point. Here, 
you can provide accurate covering fire and pick off static targets, clearing the way for your assaulting teams to seize and hold the position. As you level up your gameplay as a rifleman, you'll be able to unlock a semi-automatic weapon system for the Germans and also increase your inventory with further smoke and HE grenades. These improve your effectiveness in assault, enabling you to join the assaulting team when attacking a point, clearing positions swiftly and effectively. So, let's talk tactics. The number one tip for anyone starting in this game is to listen and communicate to your squad leaders and comrades. Hear what they're saying, follow the orders and communicate back to them any threats or observations. Ask yourself questions. Get that internal monologue going. For example, where can I be best deployed to support my team? Does the MG need more ammunition? Does the assault grenadier need an extra hand taking a point? Are my spacings too small between me and my teammates? By asking yourself these questions, you'll become a far better player. By default, stick with your team. Two is one and one is none. That means if you do it alone, you will unlikely achieve success. But if you work with others as a cohesive unit, you can support each other to win matches. Drop that ammunition. Whether it's explosive or regular ammunition, you'll be able to support your team, fully bomb up to take the point or hold a position. Observe. Soak in what others are doing, how they're communicating, their play style. Ask questions if you're unsure. The community, to a large part, are fantastic and always willing to help. Volunteer. Some squad leaders are not minded enough to task individuals with roles or objectives and ask for volunteers. As a rifleman, you are the most expendable. We need an engineer to, to build notes, please. Okay, I'll do it. I'll jump into river now. <laughs> in the interest of development and getting the job done, volunteer to take on new classes or take on some of the less glamorous roles, such as guarding a point or driving a supply truck so that you can increase your knowledge of the game and understand when you eventually take on the role of squad leader, what you're asking of others. Okay, MG, adjust far right, adjust far right, I'm on the position. Yeah. down, well done, teamwork. Once you're confident with core game mechanics, you should start considering taking on other classes, such as support, which is the natural progression. In competitive play, you will see very few take on the role as a rifleman, as other classes have the same primary weapons and have arguably better abilities. There are far more enjoyable roles to play, but it's important to be able to walk before you can run, and a rifleman class is fantastic role for you to develop your understanding of the game and confidence to take on more responsibilities. That's all for now guys and girls. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I'm minded to follow up with a basic tactics video whereby I share my internal monologue and thought process as I play. Let me know in the comments if this is of interest or other video topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching.